What is going on my little quote this? It is about to spike and I am back with a brand new video. Today's video is going to be top 5 scary ghost videos to cry yourself to sleep. Hopefully I do cry myself to sleep because everybody needs a good cry. Nah, no, I'm just playing. But anyways you guys, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps out the channel, helps me grow on this YouTube world so that one day I can have a plaque somewhere up there that you guys help me get. I know I've been slacking a little bit but I'm figuring things out. I want to add gaming, ghost videos, funny videos, and like TikTok and all that stuff together. But I'm going to figure that out later. But for right now, I need to get you guys a video for tonight but without any further ado let's get right into the video how five ghosts caught on camera turning the tables paranormal investigators jordan and johnny from the youtube channel paranormies were contacted about an old abandoned farmhouse that's said to be extremely haunted over the last 70 years, the farmhouse in Steinbeck, Canada has been passed from owner to owner under very mysterious circumstances. In fact, it Sorry, is said that no phone. one has ever lived in the house for more than two or three years. Rumors began to circulate that the reason that so many people moved from the house was because it was extremely haunted by a demonic presence. New owners claimed to hear unexplained voices and their children woke up screaming, claiming to see the terrifying apparition of what they called, quote, a bad man. And the haunting is not just inside the home. Strange dark figures have been seen in the property's barn. The couple who reached out to the Paranormies team say that they've seen someone staring at them from outside the window on the second floor, which is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Eventually, no one wanted to buy this supposedly cursed house, no matter how low the price. The farmhouse has now been abandoned for years. Paranormies team member Jordan sits down in the home's bathroom to do a sensory deprivation session. So while team member Johnny asks questions, Jordan will be blindfolded with headphones blocking out all other sound, except what comes through their spirit box. What happens next shocks them both. Hi, doing a sensory deprivation here. We got this camera and this camera. We heard some noises coming from this area while we were kind of just setting up the cameras and it just sounded like it was trying to draw us into this area. So we wanted to do a sensory deprivation here. But we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, Jordan's going to be in here uh, and he's going to be calling it out and I'm going to be wandering around the house so we can kind of just split up and see what we can hear. If you're the one who Stand. scared that couple off. Can you make a noise for us? Eat, eat me too. Or give Jordan some answers. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. It was this light bulb, dude. A light bulb. Look. That wasn't already there? No. Not long after Johnny asks for the spirit to make a sound for them, a light bulb mysteriously falls to the floor right outside the bathroom. Damn, does the light bulb fall to the floor or did it blow up while it was on the thing? Because I don't know, maybe because it has to be on twirled. So it could have all twirled it, dropped it, or it could have just blew up up Where there. Where Jordan is sitting. When slowed down, you can actually see their static camera capture the moment oh. the light bulb falls to the floor. Oh, it did. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence. Mm. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. I mean, I don't think it could be a strange coincidence because think about it. Um, Like, that house has been abandoned for a long, long time. And what are the odds that a light bulb just automatically just falls out of nowhere? Uh, this whole time, it looks like shit. So that shit would have been felt. Explain. While setting up more static cameras, Things take a terrifying turn. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there, and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or... What was that? Dude, what was that? That's Cap. What? Bro, that is Cap. Jordan. 
Jordan. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yo, there's no way. Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, dude. A heavy table takes a hard flip over all on its own, and the two investigators are un Bro. understandably a bit freaked out. But there was something else that happened during this creepy incident. Look at that. Something you might not have even noticed. There's a lot of oh, there was something that right was going there on the side. during the table um, incident that I think was missed. And for me personally, one of the scariest things, aside from the table being flipped, was hearing the footsteps coming down the stairs. Oh yeah, stop, 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 stop. I heard the footsteps, swear. And look at the way that Something shit. seems to actually run down the wooden stairs and a split second later, the table is flipped over violently. I hear it. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing their what? investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. The two hold on, hold on. I need to see that one more time, bro. They were just chilling. Look. Downstairs? To the table. Dude, what was that? Yo, that was crazy, dude. I did, I expected nothing like that. Now that what's this blue light right here? But bro, that was insane. I'm not gonna lie, I would not know at all what I would do in that moment. I would be right there tripping. I would be like, what the f bro, is this really happening around us right now? I would be tripping, dude. Yo, that was insane. That table was rocking weird, bro, when it flipped. And I swear I heard the footsteps, but I thought just somebody was running down to check up on them. But nobody was going down there. That's insane, dude. Yo, this is one of the craziest videos he's Nukes Top 5 has ever posted, dude. Now that was insane. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing That's their crazy. investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. The two guys question whether the necrophonic spirit box app they're using is actually working. And they get a very unexpected answer. Is insane. necrophonic real? So it sound like some oh, yo, that come. <gasps> Look. So it sound like some. Whoa. Bro, there's what no that? way. That's what that was. You throw a box and you say yes to the box. And they pan the so camera right there. Where would he go? Where would he go? Nowhere. Where would he go, bro? If someone was throwing that, like one of the one of their um team members or something, like trying to fake it, dude, there is nowhere to go. There's no window. Yo. What was that? That's insane. And they have a camera right here, dude. What appears to be a can and a box are thrown across the barn. The Paranormies guys quickly run over to the back of the barn to investigate. But there's Where would no they go? There. See? Where would he go? Where would the he go? The guys have no idea what could have suddenly Where the fuck would he go? There's nobody the cameras there. There's nobody that could have jumped over that wall. They just they literally show the camera, dude. He launched these objects into the air. Soon after Jordan and Johnny call it a night this and end good. their investigation. But after uploading their video to YouTube, their viewers were shocked to see something that the Paranormies actually missed while exploring the abandoned farm. Take a very close look. This place, all the like, glasses shattered and stuff. So it's got to be that window. Maybe that window. And barn. I'm trying to light back here. Yo, Johnny. What? Yeah, there's a barn back there. Oh, I can't really see it on my camera. 
Did you see it? Oh, those are loud. Like a dark bro. hand can be seen oh. reaching out from the second floor oh, I didn't window. See that. This is the same window where the couple claimed that they I saw someone that. looking in at them. So could this be the demonic entity that locals claim haunt the abandoned farmhouse? What? Did Jordan and Johnny capture evidence of the paranormal activity that has driven past owners away in only a couple of years? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part series and many more scary investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Someone- I right, bro, I'm gonna be realistic. That shit was intense, bro. Like, that was crazy. I like how they have a camera in the front. So like when they went to go pan, when they went to go look to see who threw those boxes or that cup, dude, there's a camera getting the wall. So if anybody would have jumped over, the camera would have caught it. Bro, that is insane. They would have edited it out, but it wasn't edited. It was literally, you know what I mean? Like, that's insane. Dude, that table was flipped, homie. And those footsteps on the stairs, bro. This one was good. Nukes top five. Now this one was good. One or something. Paranormal investigators Tarek, Merrick, and Rimsey from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a remote abandoned house in the middle of nowhere in Austria. The structure, surrounded by nothing but snow, looks like something straight out of a horror movie. In the dead of night, the three friends brace the icy cold weather to explore the creepy building. They quickly realize that they might not be alone. Shady right there. I don't know why it scared me. That sound. What's that? Oh, knocked on the door, bro. The paranoiac team hears strange sounds, almost like footsteps coming from the second floor. And soon after, a heavy door falls over on its own. They question what they might be dealing with, something paranormal or someone up to no good. The three explorers hear more strange sounds coming from upstairs, and they cautiously approach the staircase to check it out. It did not go well. What? That's a tree. Yo, that is a tree. Look at this. There's no way in hell, bro. That's a that's a tree. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was a tree. I thought it looked like a tree, like the like the uh, roots and shit. Wait, I don't know. It could be hay, actually. It could be a thing of hay. Oh, it's a fucking bed, dude. It looks like a tree because of like all this shit right here. I was about to say, dude, it, look, it looks so much like a tree, but that's still crazy, bro, bed. As they are debating whether to go upstairs, the decision is made for them as a heavy bed made of straw is thrown down the staircase, oh, yeah. blocking their path. The Paranoiax team decides that's quite enough of all that, and they just leave the creepy abandoned structure. But once back outside in the freezing snow, they take one last look back at the building. That's crazy. Ben bu şıkkına gitti. Abi ses. Ne oldu lan abi? Ben tövbe ya. Şık mı var orada? Abi yukarıda da var. Abi şu... Abi bir şey, oh. bir şey var orada. <gülüyor> Yo. Ne oluyor lan? 
Abi bak siyah bir şey var. Görüyor mu şunu? <gülüyor> yürü yürü. Bu işin şakası yok içeride hep ben. Nasıl düşüyorum someone in there? A strange shadow can be seen from one of the upstairs windows. The investigators believe the entity to possibly be a djinn. But what do you think? What? Were the investigators dealing with a dark presence? Is it a homeless squatter who was simply defending his territory? Or is it all know, just an elaborate hoax? Bro, that was intense, dude. That thing threw a bed at them. It threw a whole freaking bed at them, bro. I thought it was a tree. It looked like a tree, dude. It looked like branches and shit, but I was... I don't know why I thought that. What dimension are we in? <laughs> like, it's stupid. That was insane, dude. Now that. That was crazy. You bro, decide. that was crazy, dude. You can watch this full video and many more creepy explorations over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Ghosts of Petworth Chapel. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations traveled to the abandoned Petworth Chapel in a small village in Sussex, England. In World War II, a German air raid hit a nearby boys' school, and 28 children tragically what? lost their lives. They were laid to rest in the chapel cemetery. That's fucked up. Cut to present day. Locals and visitors to Petworth Chapel say that they have seen and heard the apparitions of children playing in the cemetery. And there is even said to be another ghost haunting the chapel as many believe that the spirit of the cemetery's loyal longtime groundskeeper still haunts the property. So as Ghost Tech begins their paranormal investigation late one night, team member Phil experiences something that he just can't explain. Let's be over with that. Someone just pulled my jacket. Whoa. No. Yeah. I wonder why you moved a bit quick then. Phil says he feels something tug at his jacket. Now, chilling as that might be, unfortunately, the static camera doesn't capture the creepy event. But later into the investigation, when the Ghost Tech team are inside the Petworth Chapel, Jeff takes a few photos, and what he captures is downright chilling. What does it capture? Hmm. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was strange. That one was all blurred. What? Oh! Yo, that's insane. What is that? Don't move, Phil. Don't something's not right. fucking move. It's gone. Bro, something was right. Jeff takes a picture of Phil, and at first, everything seems normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then. A dark mass seems to rise right up out of the ground next to Phil, That's crazy, seemingly dude. reaching out to him. So is it possible that Ghost Tech captured one of the spirits still restlessly wandering the cemetery grounds? I'm pretty sure. Did whatever it was that tugged on Phil's jacket follow him into the chapel? You decide. You bro, that, bro, shit like this makes me get goosebumps, bro. Like, I'm over here like... You know, you you never know what's around you, bro. You don't. So like, damn, bro, that was intense. And watch this full video That's and crazy. many more investigations of tragic and chilling hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. And still, really haunted. Okay, I'm gonna be realistic. One of these days, I need to try to watch these videos, News Top Five. I need to watch one of them bake, bro, so I can be right here like tripping. I'm like. Yeah, you know I mean, like, I need to do it. I need to I try it. I featured the I'll YouTube channel it. really haunted many times before, and for good reason. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh my God! Oh, that scared me, bro. Nah. YouTuber Lee has uploaded some truly bizarre videos of an ongoing poltergeist haunting that he says is occurring in his home in England. He's got more content for us. I never saw that one. And the dog. Is that a dog? He's right there like, what the fuck just happened? I'm not going to move. I'm going to pretend like I'm asleep. Now, if you're a regular watcher <laughs> of this channel, you know I'm not much of a believer in orbs. I think yeah, I they're usually that. bugs or dust. 
Well, but in this case, if you watch closely, you can actually flip. see some sort of orb appear for a it split second on screen near the chair, right before it Look. violently flips over what? and breaks into pieces. That's great. And amazingly, the check dog. out the doggo on the couch. <laughs> yeah, he's not fun. even bothered at all. But maybe living in this house, he's just used to it. His eyes open but though. Cut to another night, and Lee is fast asleep in bed. And then this happens. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I was a dog and I heard all that shit happening around my owner's pad, I'd be right there sitting down like I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna just pretend like it happens. Hopefully it'll go away and not fuck with me. <laughs> Bro, I thought that was in my room. What? Let me see that shit. Yo. What's gonna happen, bro? We can hear heavy thumping footsteps on the floor. That's just crazy. And then the night stands. That is insane, dude. That's crazy. Only flips over on its own. And then something sets off the downstairs burglar alarm. But when Lee checks, there's no one in the house. Lee says that the paranormal activity in his home has gotten so bad that lately his wife and kids have been sleeping in a camper parked outside the house. You can watch more of the crazy paranormal activity that Lee has bro. recorded in his house over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Meanwhile, on TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, dude, that means that you're gonna, just gonna have to move out, my guy. Um, your lady, your kids, they're not, they're not uh, wanting to sleep in there. It's time to dip. Talk. A bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. At first, he just used the TikTok filter reality ripple effect, which allegedly shows ghosts all around you. Detectar las, las ondas de calor y estoy acá en el cementerio. Aquella pared es la del cementerio. La concha de su madre, ¿qué fue eso? Esa pared. La puta que te parió. Oh. A ver. No solo la. La concha, la lora. I mean, it's doing every time he puts, puts his hand. Right in front of him. Eh, toca el timbre, eh, toca el timbre. Dale, toca el timbre. If it does it. Now, it was enough to freak him out and oh. also some of his more superstitious friends. That's crazy, dude. See you, buddy. <laughs> but after he had recorded using the app I'm for a here. couple of weeks, he says that he had a much more serious encounter when the bus was stopped at the graveyard. An experience that chilled him to his core. Damn, what's gonna happen, dude? What was that? 
¿Qué fue eso? Parecieron como que me cerraron una, una ventana. ¡La puta madre! La Yo puta madre, mato, no veo no nunca cuento. más acá, eh. Concha de su madre. Me, me están abriendo la puerta. Lo, lo vieron, eh. Quedó grabado. Quedó grabado. La concha de su madre. La concha de su madre. Me están abriendo. ¡Ay! ¡La puta que te parió! Yo me voy a la mierda. ¡Ah! La concha de su madre. No, no, no. La puta que te parió. Yo. La puta que... Argentinian bus driver That's now crazy. seems to have stopped his What? late night graveyard bus recordings completely. He hasn't recorded any ghost encounters since this last video. TikTok user DadSass says that she and her sister have been experiencing some strange paranormal phenomena in their home. One night when her sister is sleeping, their CCTV camera captures something truly bizarre. So we've been home from the hospital for a while because our kids have RSV. And uh, thank God I have cameras because my sister was sleeping and we caught this fool. I don't care. Hurry up. Girls, girls. Oh. All right, let's be real, dude. I, I'm so tired of females finding any way at all to put their kids in a video or or talk about it. Nobody cares. All right. Oh. The family says that they have no pets in the house that could have pulled off the blanket. So I'm not sure what caused this. Ooh. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching Instagram here, Twitter there. Call God, I have cameras. Those piercings aren't doing it for you. No, nah, they're not doing it for you. Mm. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy that video. Damn, that girl, I don't know, just her being her really frustrated me. She's just not a, I don't know, she's just not a likable person to me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps the channel, helps me grow in this YouTube world, so that one day I can have a plaque up there that you guys help me get. But anyways, you guys, you guys already know how it is. Um, you know, before I say that, this was a very good video. I really enjoyed it. It was creepy. It was scary. It was very interesting. It just had me right here tripping bro these are the types of videos i love to see they're just amazing entertaining bro i'm trying to get scared in a youtube video when i watch movies i don't get scared but watching these nukes top five not fire but anyways guys now i can do the outro you guys already know how it is there's bad people ghost spirits people like julian always trying to hurt you so in that case keep through time i really, really hope to see you guys in the next video